Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The province is reviewing entry requirements for trucking companies after one opened at the same address as the now suspended business involved in the Humboldt Broncos crash that killed 16 people. A trucking company connected to a dish deal trucking limited. The company involved in the Humboldt Broncos crash has opened at the same Calgary address as a dish deal. Alberta's Ministry of Transportation confirmed that while a dish deal trucking remains suspended, one of the drivers connected to the Calgary-based business is working with the new company. The only driver currently employed by the numbered company is not the driver who was involved in the Humboldt incident, said the province in a written statement. The numbered company 1929282 Alberta Limited was originally registered in October 2015 according to its public corporate profile. It was dissolved at some point and revived on April 14, roughly a week after the Humboldt crash, and five days after a dish deal was suspended. The company is registered to two people, neither of whom are a dish deal owner Suck Mender Singh. Alberta Transportation received information that the carrier's remaining truck has transferred ownership to a new carrier operating on a temporary safety fitness certificate. Although the new carrier has different ownership its address is the same as the carrier involved in the accident. Therefore, Alberta Transportation is currently investigating the linkage. The numbered company received its safety certificate on May 9. Alberta Transportation said it immediately suspended the certificate. Once the carrier demonstrated that it was in compliance Alberta Transportation had no legal grounds to maintain the suspension and the suspension was lifted on June 1, 2018 after the company demonstrated it was in compliance with all commercial transportation safety legislation. The two truck companies' current safety certificate has conditions upon it and the province will do a follow-up audit in the next three months. Its record is currently clean. The carrier will be closely monitored over the next three months and if any significant safety infractions are found during this period of operations its safety fitness certificate will be suspended immediately Alberta Transportation said. Singh who denied that he or any of his employees have started a new company, and when asked about the same addresses for both companies he again adamantly denies owning it or operating it in any way. I'm not permitted to open another company he said. Singh also said a dish deal only had two drivers, one who was involved in the crash and has remained at home, and a second who he said moved to Ontario. Canadian Trucking Alliance said while the province needs to release more details about who is behind the company, it raises questions regarding the possibility of a practice known as Chameleon Registration. It's a tactic of Ray registering companies under different corporate names and addresses either locally or in other provinces while still controlling the company to some degree by the original operators. We want this practice to end along with other practices deployed by non-compliant members of the industry. Because the numbered company is legally different company it is allowed to operate. Legally it is a different company and has been established and they have met all the requirements. They will be audited within the first three months. You need practices put in place that would not allow a controlling entity that has been suspended to transfer business operations to another individual. A dish deal was incorporated in Alberta on April 28, 2014 according to corporate records. But it only appears to have been operating since September 2017 during which time it had no convictions or collisions. According to Alberta government records the company had a safety fitness rating of satisfactory unaudited, a term generally used to describe new carriers with no known compliance issues. 
The province has said it's reviewing its entry requirements for commercial operators to identify opportunities for enhancing safety among Alberta-based carriers. Saskatchewan RCMP were not able to comment on the new details but said its collision reconstruction team and major crimes unit continue to analyze the data and evidence gathered in the crash and are preparing to consult with Crown attorneys. A vehicle inspection report on February 8 in the Northwest Territories reveals a driver was issued two tickets and two warnings resulting in the vehicle being taken out of service. The report states the driver was ticketed for failing to secure material used to protect cargo and for failing to properly fill out daily logbooks. The driver was also warned for failing to complete his daily log in full and for failing to complete a pre-trip inspection. If the government of Alberta has shut down that carrier there most likely are a lot of other issues that resulted in the suspension. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.